Sometimes the mess-ups are even funnier than the scenes that make air. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 hilarious How I Met Your Mother bloopers. But I'm back too soon because I left the room without detergent and my fabric softener. <laughs> <laughs> I held out as long as I could. For this list, we'll be looking at the most side-splitting bloopers from this funny show. Absolutely. But it was strange because I thought I thought it'd be well, right getting, in front. Well, getting in the cushions the initially cushions is tough. And <laughs> just sliding my, through, my whole absolutely. arm in there. Yeah. And then into the right. <laughs> <laughs> Number 10, caroling. This isn't the first time an out of nowhere musical number made us all crack up on this show, and it certainly was not the last. But in this instance, even the actors couldn't keep a straight face. During the episode, Ted and Lily are in a fight on Christmas, and Ted flees to his cousin's house, so the rest of the gang go with Lily to make things right. While trying to distract Ted's family while Lily apologizes to him, Robin, Marshall, and Barney pretend to be carolers. Holy night. Oh. I came here to apologize. They're actually doing a really great job when suddenly the three of them just burst out laughing at the ridiculousness of the situation. Just how hysterical NPH gets is particularly hilarious. So <laughs> what happened? I couldn't do it. What happened? <laughs> Number nine, Barney's father is Bob Barker. To be honest, this a little makes little, me, me a little emotional. But I've known. I've known for a long time. <laughs> In this scene, Barney's telling the gang his plan for going on the Price is Right, winning, and then telling Bob Barker that he's actually his son. As NPH gets emotional talking about the unusual situation, the gang gets equally emotional. Except their emotion is amusement. I'm gonna go to LA, be on the show, win the showcase showdown, make my father proud, and then. <laughs> With every crack in NPH's voice, the gang cracks up more and more. Even if NPH's overdramatic performance in the take used in the episode didn't tickle your funny bone, the rest of the gang's reaction to it will. You can't help but laugh along with them. Win the showcase showdown, make my father proud. <laughs> <laughs> Number eight, rabbit versus duck. Okay, okay, fine. <laughs> Future Ted did refer to this one as one of the most intense arguments that the gang ever had. They get so vicious while debating which is better, a rabbit or a duck, that they're all yelling at each other across the booth. When Marshall concedes that ducks are in fact better, it's not enough that he just gives up. Ted wants to hear him say it out loud. You win! Say it. You have to say it. The only thing funnier than watching just how fired up they all get over such a mundane topic is watching the actors lose it over just how passionate the discussion becomes. It takes them several takes to get through the scene. Fine. For the purposes of this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven, childbearing crackers. You're a sturdy cheese-bearing cracker. <laughs> Sometimes the funny circumstance or the dialogue of a scene is just too much for the actors to handle, and sometimes an actor just flubs a line. Either way, we get great blooper material. In this scene, Marshall's getting really intense about the cheese and crackers that he prepared for Lily's dinner party. And while attempting to say the phrase, cheese bearing crackers, Jason Siegel misspeaks and accidentally blurts out child bearing crackers instead. Different kinds of sturdy, Childbearing crackers. <laughs> he immediately realizes the mistake and bursts out laughing in raucous laughter, which makes everyone lose it. You can even hear the crew laughing in the background. <laughs> Number six, Barney, Marshall, and Lily Sandwich. This is gonna be awesome. This whole episode is all about Ted trying to seal the deal with two beautiful women to ride the coveted tricycle. In this blooper, while Ted is in the living room with his guests, Barney, Marshall, and Lily are hiding out in his bedroom starting up a tricycle of their own. Things suddenly heat up when they all start jokingly kissing each other. Jason Siegel kicks things up a notch and shocks everyone when he plants one right on NPH, and they all collapse together on the bed. Why is no one yelling cut? Number five, 
hiccup death. Lily has a rare and fatal hiccup disorder that's apparently medically legitimate. What? How could this be? Beats me, but it says it right here on this doctor clipboard that doctors have. Jason Siegel's overdramatic performances add a lot of humor to this show, even when a particular performance might not make the final cut. In this scene, Marshall is explaining that when he is occasionally attracted to other women, he can't simply have an innocent fantasy. He needs to imagine that Lily died from a long illness and that he waited the appropriate amount of time before moving on. And after an appropriate number of years, you should find someone else. Someone like that busty delivery girl from that one time. In the blooper, Lily dies from a hiccup-related disease and Marshall is distraught. Jason Siegel's gurgling noises and just the look on his face are so over the top that it raises Allison Hannigan from the dead. Oh, not like this! <laughs> Number 4. Taking the Cake Steakout van. What? We should have gotten a steakout van. We could have ordered pizza and went through big binoculars and said, this ain't what I signed up for. In this scene, Ted and Marshall are in a diner booth while spying on Robin and Barney's date. While hiding behind his menu, Jason Siegel decides to steal a sliver of cake from the plate on the table. Upon seeing this, Josh Radner lifts up his menu just a bit more to cover himself breaking character. What makes this one really funny is not just Siegel's action or Radner breaking, but that they seem so terrified of the director when she comes in to scold them. Radner is so quick to sell out Siegel. <laughs> I really wasn't trying to do anything bad. It, it was Jan. <laughs> I really wasn't trying to do anything bad. No, I know you weren't. Number three, Joey Buttafuoco pants. 2005 landmark case of Lily versus the Joey Buttafuoco pants. Huh? Huh? Just how ridiculous Jason Siegel looks in those pants is funny enough, but he can't keep a straight face while trying to convince the others that he looks good. He can't even enter the room without breaking. Though the gang tries their hardest to get through the scene, the whole cast can't contain their laughter take after take. As Siegel tries to deliver his lines, his voice just gets higher and higher pitched as he can barely speak through his laughter. After several takes, the whole gang is crying, simply unable to contain themselves. <laughs> no, it's nice! It's nice, right? <laughs> Come on, yo! Number two, the green testicle story. The green testicle story. So I was playing ultimate frisbee in college and there was a barefoot dude with a weirdly sharp toenail. Oh, come on, Ted. We never get to hear the end of the green testicle story, not even in the take that made it to air, but we'd bet that this hilarious blooper is way funnier than the story ever would have been. Josh Radner was attempting to say that a guy he went to college with had weirdly sharp toenails and he accidentally said weirdly sharp testicles. There was this barefoot dude with weirdly sharp testicles. Oh, okay. come on. <laughs> Naturally, the whole cast burst into an uproar of laughter at the blunder. Even the crew couldn't help but laugh. The blunder messed up several takes, as everyone could not stop thinking about it. <laughs> I did it. I did it. <laughs> Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Thanks, Teeny. It's like eating a turkey dinner. How the Thanksgiving? <laughs> spit, a spit, it, spit, spit, spit. Down it goes. <laughs> It's like a turkey dinner in your mouth. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> no. Oh, no, 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 no. Barney and I are not together. No, no, no. <laughs> really? 34 no's. <laughs> really. Barney whispers that one thing. Usually I just lean in and whisper this one thing in their ear. No, he doesn't! Sorry! Marshall fights with his brothers. <laughs> Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, douche zombies. She really wasn't that bad. Of course you think that. She turned you into one of her douche zombies. In this scene, the gang is ribbing Ted for getting back in touch with his emotionally abusive ex, and Lily comments that she turned Ted into a douche zombie. Marshall is supposed to do a zombie Ted impression, but Jason Siegel cannot stop laughing while trying to deliver the line. <laughs> 
I want to eat you. <laughs> The more he tries to get himself together, the worse he gets. He starts crying and sweating from laughing so hard, and his voice even goes high-pitched as he desperately tries to get the words out. The rest of the gang are no better. They try to stifle themselves, but they just cannot hold in their laughter. <laughs> Jason, you got tears in your eyes, honey. Wipe it off. You're sweating. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.